What's up guys? You're watching the Sean Nicholas channel. We have the brand new Hot Wheels Car Culture Off-Road set. Um, this is a 2023 set. We're now in 2024, but this is just falling into 2024, especially here in Florida. We get stuff a little bit behind. I know you guys over there on the West Coast get stuff a lot sooner than we do, uh, probably about a month ahead of us. So um, we're finally getting this Hot Wheels off-road set, so I want to go ahead and open up the set. There's some pretty spectacular models, including that hard-to-get Chase 0 out of 5 Toyota Land Cruiser, and then the very popular 2018 Toyota 4Runner, which everyone's just grabbing those things up. Um, that is a very desirable casting. Uh, we've seen that Boulevard, and uh, yeah, people grab them up. All right, let's go ahead and start this unboxing what should we start with first? We're gonna go ahead and start with the 2018 Toyota 4Runner because this is just such a cool model and uh, I'm very happy to see it again. We've seen it last year in Boulevard, which was just so cool. Check out that artwork. Awesome artwork. All the artwork on all these uh, blister cards looks so cool. I love off-roading. I love trail climbing. I love uh, big trucks, big tires, um, all that good stuff. Really cool. Uh, so it's really spectacular to have this set and especially in, in this color this Toyota 4Runner Now in premium last year we saw it in Boulevard with this awesome limited edition TRD uh, Boulevard black with like that awesome like I want to say like sparkle paint. It looks really cool uh, I love it and that back window rolls down too. super cool. That's one of the cool features about the Toyota 4Runner now talking about basic and matchbox, we've seen this awesome red one last year, pretty cool. And then we also saw this blue one. Uh, so this is gonna be pretty much the closest color to it uh, that we got. Um, let's go ahead and get this thing cracked open. I, I love to have all my four runners open. I did buy two of these, so I've just been trying to find a reason to get this thing out. So yeah, this is gonna be the closest look to the car culture one that we're just about to open the back window is up on this one so it's a little bit different than that uh actually the, ma the other matchbox one has the window up too i'm wrong all right let's go ahead and get this 2018 toyota 400 in premium we've seen it the first time this casting in premium we've seen it for the first time in boulevard in white and uh then we saw that last one now we got this one in blue now this is obviously going to be the most popular car in this set other than the Chase. And if you're looking for the white one, the first one they came out with in premium, that one has skyrocketed in price. I mean, it's going for, I want to say 30 to 50 bucks around there. Maybe sometime in the future, I'll pull the trigger and pay that price tag. All right, let's go ahead and park up this awesome 4Runner right there. Let's go ahead and move on to the Big Air Bel Air. Uh, this is pretty cool. This is the first time that we've seen this in uh, Premium. We've seen this many times in Basic, including uh, Zamac. We've seen it as a Zamac a couple years ago. One thing that people question is it doesn't have a windshield. Um, that's normal. It's not an error. It just doesn't have a windshield. That's just the way it is. So look at that awesome metal base. We've never seen it with a metal base. I do believe there was one that had Real Rider wheels. Um, that was presented at a toy fair, if I'm right. Um, that one was orange, and uh, now we've finally seen it in premium. And it definitely looked great with that turquoise color. It definitely gives it that 50s to 60s vibe. I love that color on the old style 50 to 60s car. That looks sweet, um, especially with the two-tone white. And it's sitting on Real Rider 8 dot steely wheels in gray. And I gotta say, this is overall a pretty sweet casting, and I'm very happy to see this part of this car culture set. It's definitely a perfect model for this off-road set. All right, that's the Big Air Bel Air. Let's go ahead and park it to the side. Let's go ahead and move on to the 1993 Mercedes-Benz G-Class. How cool is that? We got a uh, G-Class. It's got the IWC livery on it. And it's got the big pilot this is so cool and it's a team support so this is going to be something that goes out there and saves you i do love that soft top on the back there check out the awesome artwork one other thing i forgot to show you guys too is the back there's the complete set and here is the barcode if you want to go ahead and scan that take a photo of it uh bring it to somebody that can ring it you know scan it at the store for you so hopefully you can find the set then go ahead and do that it's right there i hope you guys have the best luck of finding this set. Let's go ahead and get this open. This is number three in the set. 
in black. I'm kind of curious too. I want to know if you can remove this back top here. Oh, look, look. It wants to come off. So let's let's see here. Try not to. Oh, there it goes. So you can remove the big pilot uh, soft top on the back there. Here it is. Oh, look how cool that looks. One thing you can't see unless you take that top off is the back seats and also the roll bar in the bed of the G wagon. There's eight dot black with a chrome trim on it. The wheels look great. It does have a black base. It's got a wheel cover on that back wheel. I guess that would be a very small spare for this big jacked up off-road team support G wagon. Uh, it's got a clear windshield and both passenger driver's side windows are down. All right, let's go ahead and put the big pilot top back on. Just like that, it snaps in very easy. Um, looks so cool. Very happy to see that. That was that was really spectacular. Honestly, I wasn't expecting that top to come off like it did. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the Range Rover Classic. We finally get to see this in premium. How cool is this? Uh, super happy to see it in premium. premium. We've seen it so many times in basic last year too um so it's very cool to finally see this in premium check out that awesome artwork it looks like it's going up the sand dunes something we don't have here in florida i've never been to a sand dune in my entire life i've always wanted to go there and just rip a dirt bike right up one of those sand dunes or even this land rover classic that would be so much so much fun oh look at those colors love the yellow love the red love the orange all looks so cool definitely has a nice baja look to it and it's got a black base and on the roof of the Range Rover, it's got a clear little bubble. I'm not sure what that is. That's pretty cool. Don't, I don't know. I wonder if you can stick your head out of it and uh, look around like a sunroof or what that's exactly for. It might just be for venting uh, if you get too much sand dust in there. I'm not exactly sure, but it looks pretty cool. And that is the little window I was just talking about. Pretty cool. I wonder what that is. If you know what that is, drop it down in the comments. I definitely want to know. All right. So cool, love the whole set so far, but we've got to the chase, the final car in the mix, the 2005 Toyota Land Cruiser. This is so cool. Uh, first time we've seen this in premium, and uh, yeah, now we got it as a chase in black. Uh, this is the chase right here, we'll check it out. It's just the same car in black, and uh, zero out of five. Honestly, I, I was missing this whole set when it first got released, and uh, a lot of people in my area were finding it, but I got lucky. Um, the last time I saw this set, I found the chase. I was super happy. Um, there is the artwork for the chase. Here, we'll go ahead and look at both of them together. There's the difference from the chase to the regular. All right, let's go ahead and get the regular cracked open. We got the gray one here. Got nice, nice fog uh, lights on the roof and also in the front. I'm not even sure if you just call those fog lights. Maybe they'd just be called spotlights. It's got a clear window tint. It's got a nice spare tire too, just like the tires all around the car. It's not a different style wheel, so it's got a full size spare. But that spare is not rubber. It's not the same as the actual wheels. It is plastic. And overall, this Land Cruiser looks super clean. I love it. It's got nice details with the headlights, the taillights. It's got blue details on the side. It's got a matte black base with black eight dot steely wheels. Just looks all done right. All right, this is the final car in the set, the Land Cruiser. Such a cool set. I'm very happy with all of them. And I think it's really cool that you can remove that top on the big pilot. All you gotta do is really just come up and it snaps right off, super easy. Just put that there and you are pretty much good to go, including the chase. I wanna know if you guys found the chase, if you found the whole set, or even if you knew that you could uh, remove that big pilot uh, rear soft top on the G-Wagon. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe.